whenever a human speaks to you, you will be able to read their current thoughts. You take care of getting the lands. It's imperative. I'll take care of preparing our departure. She... she has to pay for all the harm she's done to me. Meanwhile, let us remain on our guard against any last-minute surprises. I know my brother well. He never prepares for war if he has no chance of winning. Finding out that I'm a demon makes no difference. I haven't come all this way just to fail so close to the goal. If I'm asking you all these things, it's for your own good, you know. You are keeping up the good work, I see. But I'm telling you, keep your guard up. Everyone is rather on edge right now. Don't make me your competition, Duriche. You are no match. Trust yourself. It's all already in there. Dear friends, I'd like to thank you for your continued trust and confidence. I admit that during these past few days, there has been much upheaval. I understand you have all been affected by this. Nevertheless, the world doesn't stop turning, and we are in fact on the verge of reshaping the modern world. That is what we are all here for, my lord. Thank you for your enthusiasm, Monsieur Bonaparte. Now you all know what we have to do. I cannot warn you strongly enough. If one of Sir Gregory's guests asks to speak with you, remain on your guard. It is highly likely that he will try to rally as many supporters to his cause as he can. Don't worry, William. We are all here to support your project through to its conclusion. Thank you, George. Now, please, go and get some rest before the conference begins, which won't be long now. Louis, stay with me a moment, won't you? I'll be needing your services in a certain matter. Yes, of course. What's the matter? Louis, you are the only one here who I totally trust. It is very likely that Gregory will take possession of some of the members of our team. I shall keep them in check over the next few hours. However, I'll need you to... How can I say this? To persuade the members of Gregory's group. What do you mean by that exactly? You'll have free reign, my son. Persuade all of them. Use every possible means imaginable. But no physical violence. Let's be very, very clear about that. You must bring them all over to our side. You can do this. I know it. Very well, Father. Now go, and come back and see me once you've finished. I'll be off then. Eh, I ain't got nothing to use. <laughs> okay, well, let's start, I guess. So, go and take care of your mission, and come back and see me once you've accomplished it, Louis. Right, 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 right. Okay. Who? So, got me some devil's down. Bye, bye, boy.
Okay. Oh, what's that? Dangerous liaisons, hmm? Who's closest to me? Let's go. <coughs> Let's go check in on the president. Oh. Make sure he's good to go. I mean, I know he's going to still be on our side. Well, let's see if he has any uh, information. Uh... Dry around the corner. Okay. President George Washington. He's not even in there. Okay, so we gotta get Piaggi. Von Volner. Okay, so where's where's Piaggi's right here, right? His Eminence Cardinal Piaggi. Piaggi. Your Eminence, would you have a moment? I shouldn't really, Louis. As you can imagine. Rest assured, I come just as a friend. All right then, Louis. But be quick. Thank you, Your Eminence. Uh, it's got nothing to do with it, but... Oh, what? You... You didn't come and see me in my room a few hours ago, did you? Hmm. Does he remember anything? Uh, oh no. No, I'm sorry. You must be mistaken. I've been speaking to Lord Mortimer in his study. I... I must have dreamed it then. It seems so real. Don't blame yourself, Your Eminence. We're all exhausted. I can assure you of that. That's very kind of you, Louis. I don't know what's wrong with me at the moment, but... I feel rather fragile. Poor man seems terrified. It'd be a good idea if I reassured him a little before trying to get him to change sides. Oh, what did you want from me? Oh, exactly? great. Uh. Your Eminence. God be with you? Over <laughs> such small matters. God sees you yeah. and knows yeah, the value of Yeah, just chill out. Servants. <sighs> Thank you, my son. You've worked all your life to spread the good word. Don't worry, Your Eminence. I'm sure you'll find the answer to your dreams. God is with you, and he will show you what you need to know. You are right, Louis. Thank you for your kind words. Please okay. excuse me, Louis, if I've wasted your time. You came to see me about the confidence, here we go. I imagine. And here I go, rambling on about uh, I don't know what nonsense. No need to apologize, Your Eminence. Think nothing of it. <sighs> what did you want to speak to me about? Right. It's now or never to get him to change his mind. Uh, let's try that. I must admit that opposing you pains me, and it pains Lord Mortimer. Heck a yeah, as well. baby! I can well imagine. You should know that I am not seductive. Happy about this either. He's an upright man who, like yourself, spends his time helping others and doing good around him. But you know that better than I do. I owe him a lot, you know. Your Eminence. If you feel you owe him something, let me tell you, it's not too late to show it. It's thanks to him that I took the holy orders. We met when I was very young, here, on this island. After what? our encounter, I had the firm conviction that my duty was to take the holy orders. Uh, to tell you the truth, I owe him everything. Have you ever thanked him for it? Never. You must find me ungrateful. I would never dare, Your Eminence. <sighs> 
You came to persuade me to join. Him, I mean, didn't you? I don't you've never thanked power, him. But I do sincerely believe that it would be a uh, serves a righteous cause. A you are great way to repay him. Brings peace to the soul. For getting you to listen to your heart. Your position. You are right. To hell with all this political manipulation. I. Yes, I must listen to my conscience. Yes. 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 Listen to that Give little it. voice in your head. What does it say? Yes, Louis. I will vote for William's project. I will follow you. Heck yeah. I'm sure it will mean a great deal to Lord Mortimer, your eminence. All right, Once three, again. one down, three to go. Thank you, my son. Please leave me now. I must pray. Of course, your eminence. I'll be on my way now. Uh, who's for? Who's anybody else down here? Dear Shay, you're stopped by Godoy. Let's go do Godoy since he's right over here. She went ahead and did Val Verner, Val, whatever. He was over here, isn't he? Yeah, we walked right past this room. All right, we'll go back. We'll circle around. Duke Manuel Godoy. Okay, I thought I already convinced Duke this Manuel. dude to join Duke us. Shit. I'm delighted to see you're standing by Lord Mortimer. One cannot say that the situation is altogether reassuring, but I must admit, he does know what he's doing. Something tells me I've made the right choice. So, to thank you for persuading me to join you, Oh, what would you say awesome. a nice piece of amber? I am given to understand that you collect it? Yes. Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it to Issa. It is the least I can do. Hell yeah. Good. See you at the vault. I'll see you later then. Right. Good doy is on board. I was about to say, didn't I already convince this dude to join me? Don Quixote. Talking without thinking is like shooting without taking aim. Hmm. You have to think about that one. You got anything hidden on his bookshelves? No. Okay. Well. <sighs> Guess let's do Emily. Emily, Emily, it's me. Come in, Louis. I just saw that. What's that servant doing in your room? A gift from father. <laughs> You're joking, right? Unfortunately not. He's worried about my health. Ah, oh, typical. Of course, I, I mean, this you were no kind of a uh, on his part. Anyway, drinking I've come a to lot. see if you're better. That's very nice of you. Thank you. I'd appreciate it if we kept our last discussion to ourselves, Louis. I'm not very proud of the state I was in. That's okay. Don't worry. Thank you. And did you manage to speak to Mortimer? One moment. I'd rather continue our discussion away from any curious eyes. Okay. Follow me next door, please. Sure. What's up, girl? You wanted to know if we spoke. Yeah. Well, let's just say he didn't stick around long, but yes, I can definitely say we spoke. Well, how did... And how did it go? And did he go all right? I imagine you spoke about yourselves. He confirmed what Sir Gregory told me. That he really is my father. That he didn't know I was his daughter until a short while ago. And, well, how are you? Did you take it all right? To be honest, I don't know. I feel like I've lost all my bearings. And what about me, then? Do you trust him? Hmm. Yeah, I... Okay, so, even though I plan to, like, kill him or whatever, you know, trap him, uh, I do trust what he says he's actually going to try to do. So Yes, I do. Yeah? I'll follow him because, well, I think he can teach us a thing or two. I understand. What about you? What do you think of him? Honestly, I no longer know who to believe. The only one I really trust is you. So, I shall follow you this time. So, I can count on you for the conference vote then, right? You can. I shall support Mortimer's project. Nice. Perfect. That was easy. I won't keep you any longer. See you later for the vote. Yes. See you later. Man, we are, uh... Knocking it out the park. 
Now all we got left is, uh... Volner. He is all the way around here. Should have went to his room first. It's okay. Making our rounds, checking for any pick me ups, any coins. How many coins do we have? 48? I wonder how many there are. There we are. Why is this study in such a mess? Looks like Volner's planning something. That's not good. Is that not jelly right there? No. Look, a, a blotter. And apparently it's been used recently. I wonder what Volner was going to write. It's smudged. It's not all legible. I can make out the signature though and leave as as if planned. Le Ooh. <sighs> it's illegible. Let's see if I can find a solution in Volner's things here. Given his interest in alchemy, I wouldn't be surprised if I found something that revealed what's written somewhere in his room. Okay. Not, uh, <laughs> not gonna waste all those points. Just close. The chemistry set. That's not surprising coming from Von Wolner. Hell yeah. I should find something to help reveal the traces of ink on the blotter. That only takes one, so... Think, Louis. I know for sure that lime water neutralizes chemical actions, but doesn't work on ink. I must find something else. Do you have a book somewhere? I mean, it's 50 50 uh, guess. Let's see. A simple toiletry case? Never mind. Let's see. Oh, same thing. A simple toiletry case? Never mind. What a mess. Looks like Volner was interrupted. Looks a lot like straw, and he's drawn something in a hurry on this sheet. I've already done this. Uh. A table of alchemical symbols. Someone circled the zinc symbol. I mean, we could take a 50-50 shot here. The chemistry said. That's not surprising coming from Von Wolner. I'm not going to waste that many points, dude. I should find something to help reveal the traces of ink on the blotter. Hmm... to find some ammonium sulfide if I want to make the text oh. appear by capillary action. Perfect. Here's some. What? Yes, it worked. Now I can see it. Sir Gregory, 
I'll leave Al Azif at the landing stage at the appropriate time. Yours truly, Johann von Boner. This is child's play. That's it. That that's I spent all that for oh, man. Sometimes the shit I gotta go through for some stupid ass clues. I just did that to begin with. Alright. I mean, this will take me downstairs. Maybe we'll look for him. Find this dude. Uh, look around for any jelly. I don't want to go outside. That goes outside. Let's go in here first. Oh. I see. It's locked. Cool. Alright, well, we'll just go through the outside then, I suppose. Who the hell is Godoy? Oh, I say this was- oh, maybe the other one was outside. Okay, quickly, quickly look for stuff to replenish myself. Devil's thorn. I'll keep it. Hmm. Hmm. Well, since I'm his kid, right? I should have access, so I should. So I should be able to tell these uh, servants to give me what I need. Right. That's how that should work. leave because they said he keeps him locked up but I mean I'd be like I'm family bro that's my dad I mean what I need bro I need to talk to von Volner oh look at Blasted. that home is with him gentlemen Louis I'm sorry but we are waiting for Duke Manuel if you wouldn't mind leaving us I should think you already have enough to do as it is very well I didn't mean to disturb you they're waiting for Duke Manuel no doubt to make him change sides. <sighs> All right. If they want him, then they'll get him. Hell yeah. Possession. Let me see if I, that'll work. What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service day and night, sir. Uh, As I was unable to bring my personal effects with me, I was wondering if you could find me a few items. Of course, sir. What would you require? I can't get that, but I can get Carmelite. A little Carmelite water would do me a lot of good. Could you find me some, please? Oh, the tonics are under lock and key, sir. Lord Mortimer only allows access to them in cases of emergency. Okay. Well, it's an emergency. Listen, I suffer from terrible migraines, and the voyage by boat is brought on my rheumatism. So, unless you have anything else to alleviate the pain, please give me some quickly. Thank you. Oh, and, and the one from Bordeaux, right? I prefer it to the one from Paris. Immediately, sir. Here. I hope, sir, we'll get well again quickly. Thank you. Anything else, sir? No, that's it. Thank you. Hell yeah. Good thing those were free uses. Okay. 
Okay, Godoy. You are needed. Godoy. Should be over this one, right? Yep. Right over here. Is there Emmanuel Godoy. Yes, monsieur. Is there something you wanted to add? Concentrate. I need you to listen carefully to what I have to say, Godoy. I am all ears. Louis, push. I need you to do me a little favor. It's working. That's it, Louis. Get in his head. Oh, dear. What is happening to me? I, I do not feel very well. I need your help, sir. Get in his head. Got him. <sighs> Perfect. Thank you, monsieur. I'm sure I'll know how to take full advantage of your vessel. Now that I am Manuel. Manuel Godoy. The, 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 the Spanish saint of fuck around. I don't know. Here we go. Manuel, here you are at last. Sir Gregory, Mr. Von Volner. Thank you for agreeing to this meeting. I shan't beat about the bush, my friend. I was very disappointed by your behavior. What do you mean? I had thought you more loyal. Consequently, my affection for you leads me to ask you to reconsider one last time. I've already reconsidered it, Sir Gregory. I shall be loyal to you when it comes to the vote. Have no doubt about it. Excellent news indeed, my friend. Did you hear, Johan? Yes, and it comes at a most timely moment. I anticipate an overwhelming victory. It goes without saying to keep it to yourself. Of course. I would like to give William a nice surprise. Whatever you say. I'll leave you with Johan a while. I still have a few things to settle. I shan't be long. See you later, Sir Gregory. Oh, Godoy. Come over here. I'm warming myself up. I had the misfortune to step outside and I'm frozen solid. <laughs> Hello? I wonder what he was doing outside. All right, here we go. Something to do with what Holm asked him for, maybe. He's back from the landing stage. Damn. He must have gone to Depava El Azif for someone to pick up. Mr. Von Volner, I wanted to speak to you. I'd like to make you an offer you can't refuse. I'm all ears. Now, we don't have much time, so here it is. You will vote for Mortimer. What a strange idea, Kodoy. You are being ridiculous. Tell me now, why would I do that? Uh... Uh, he, he, he only serves his, his own person. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Gregory has been taking us for a ride right from the start. When it comes to this operation, he isn't championing the interests of our respective nations. All he cares about is beating Lord Mortimer at his own game. Oh, come, Manuel. Where are you getting this from? Name me even one decision by Sir Gregory that was in favor of Prussia. My exactly. God, man. Think about it. I didn't know you were so excessive. You don't want to answer? I will. Just uh, let me think. You're pinned down. You will only get mere crumbs out of Poland. It will go to Russia. And I hope you're ready for a global war because I doubt France will agree to our coalition. True. Said like that. I don't know. I'm not criticizing. I'm in the same boat as you. Spade will docilely follow home without getting anything in return. You are wasting your time, Duke Manuel. You know nothing about me, and your attempts to manipulate me have no effect. Do you they? So we were close. Yet ever since you arrived, you've only been interested in your own little self. Don't say that, Johan. We may not be friends, but we are allies. Is that so? Is it? And what do you know? If he knew I was Gregory's son, he wouldn't try it on like this. Gregory's son, uh, he left. What's other? Oh, yeah, let me just call him out. About you? Next to nothing. Except that you happen to be Sir Gregory Holmes' son, right? What? What do you mean? But, uh, ah, now I'm starting to be of interest to you, no? Uh, 
I've never spoken to anyone about that. <laughs> Quite surprising, isn't it? You see, I'm full of surprises. In short, whether he's exactly. your father or not makes no real so difference. So is he like his actual dad, like human dad? <laughs> Come on, or is this dude a demon don't too? make me laugh. He has never thought of you as his son. I'd wager. Well, I mean, I feel like it would have been able to read his mind day. as easy if he was Even his son. He treated you like a master treats a useful slave. He is at best a mentor. Stop me if I'm wrong. Huh. Uh, exactly. You don't owe but, him anything. Uh, tell me. Why do you want to follow Mortimer all of a sudden? Mortimer is planning something. We don't know everything. He must have something up his sleeve to be so confident. Ah, really? And what do you think that might be? Uh... He's been talking to people above us. All of this is just a show. He has contacted all those we represent. What do you mean? That everything is already decided in higher spheres. William Frederick, the King of Spain, the Pope, William Pitt. Hi. That's true. Understand. He's been talking to these people. Lord Mort. I mean, he has letters to some of them. To work in the wings of power, to take a hand in Had me write a letter to the Pope and stuff. Actually, hold it. Everything is already played out. Well, he might hook he us has up. Already won. How is this possible? We've all underestimated him. He's fooled us. We're done for. Look, it all hinges on the next few hours, Johan. Look, I hear everything you're saying, but there is no chance that Mortimer can make us all change sides. That is why Sir Gregory can but win. You understand? Think again. It's already too late. Yeah. Uh, there is she already. Yeah, he already did him. That clever Dorishe turned them all against... What the... All of them. One by one, he somehow persuaded them to join Mortimer. But... No. No, that's impossible. It looks like all of us have seriously underestimated him. While we all thought he was running around after his poor mother, he was actually accomplishing the tour de force of winning us all over, one after the other. You're the only one left, Johan. I dare not imagine what Mortimer will do if he finds out you are against him. Because from now on, you're on your own. Good luck. No, no, wait. I... I hear you. Honestly, betraying Gregory is... Well, it's... It's unthinkable. Unless I simply don't have any choice. Yes, he's finally cracked. Thank you for warning me. You're welcome. There is nothing more natural between allies. I did what I could. Now, it's up to you. As for me, I'll vote for Mortimer. Good luck to you. Good luck. Hell yeah. Got them all, baby. Good. I mustn't lose too much time. And I'm back. See you later, my lord duke. Have a nice rest. Yes, yeah, sleep well. Let's go, let's head down outside to see... Because he said he, he dropped off to al -Azif. Let's go see if we can... If we can find it. First, I can do a quick search. Aha! Jelly. Already got what I needed from him. So I got a free use. Uh, I should have did that to begin with. Then we could have saboteured the uh, letter, but it's fine. It's whatever. Uh, let's see. Anything? Chronicles of the Amber Princess. As I recall, oh, nice. Dorkin was my favorite character. Not really seeing. All right, let's go.
Uh, let's go check outside, see if we can find... Find what, uh, Von Fern uh, was doing. We'll check around here too, see if we find any more, uh, more coins. Picked up this stuff over here. We picked up this coin. Alright, I so said he was down at the dock. What's this? It's like the barrel's been broken for quite some time. Oh. Now, when I walked over here, let's see if I missed anything. First time, cause there. Ooh, some more jelly. Yeah, I walked past a whole bunch of shit. What's this? Some more jelly. Oh my god. Is there anything? Okay. What's that one? Oh, coin. I think this chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Oh, what's this? What is? Yes, yes. I, at last, I found it. Alzeev. Well, you gotta admit, you did give us a run for our money, huh? A page has been torn out. Page has been torn out, eh? Wonder what page they've been tearing out. Some rope. Apparently, no one's touched it for a good long time. A lantern. Nothing special. Anything else? Wonder why they tore tore a page out. Let's head back up. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's right, I gotta... <laughs> I thought I could just run up the stairs. Okay, so we've been through all here. I'm gonna do a final sweep. Make sure we don't forget nothing. And, uh... Well. Uh, let's see. Guess we'll do the vote, right? That's what's next. Jelly. Oh, baby. So much jelly. Gonna make so many sandwiches. Anything, anything else, anything else. It's the picture.
look for anything. Look at that. Alright, let's head upstairs. Atrus, the Miller brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading. Well, she's not our mom anymore, so you should probably read that. I don't know. Okay. Ah, damn, I thought this was the room with the freaking stairs. Son of a bitch. Took the longest way. That's this. Ah, Francois Premier. Ah, Francois Premier. A painting by Raphael. Go report to Mortimer. Tell him we're good to go. We're going to get the vote. Hey, his thing's right to the right here. Perfect, perfect. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Ba bum 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 ba bum bum ba ba na 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 Uh Oh there he is <laughs> Ran right past him Louis there you are Well tell me how did it go? I did it man I did my best Whom did you manage to persuade? Well there's no point in wasting any time I'm proud to report they've all come over to our side. Ha <laughs> ha, Louis, I'm impressed. I was sure you'd succeed. I'm proud of you, my son. Even Johan? How did you manage to do it? I'll tell you. I possessed Godoy. You possessed Godoy, of course. Very ingenious of you, I must say. Son, you've accomplished a veritable tour de force. I couldn't have done better myself. Now we are ready. The conference may begin. Assemble everyone in the conference room. Meet me there, and let's get it over with. So do your servants, like, know that you're, like, a demon and you do this shit? It's kind of weird working for somebody like that. My friends, here we are at last. Gathered together to close this... I mean, probably pays them, or treats them enough, I would pays them enough that they don't give a shit. Thank you all for making the time to be here and lend your services. Gregory, I, I believe I may speak for both of us. When I say that we are honored by your presence here. You, you are perfectly right to do so, William. Thank you for putting your faith in us and for coming here to participate in this conference. Thank you for helping us to make the best decisions. And I especially want to thank you, William, for, for perfectly hosting us at your home during these past several days. I'm not sure all the guests would agree to that. In any case, Holm doesn't seem to be himself. Good. I think we can begin. You will vote in turn on the question that interests us today. Are you for or against the transfer of ownership of Louisiana from Spain to France? Monsieur de Richet? Vote against. I would fuck everything up. Nah, I'm just playing. For America. I vote for. Duchess Hillsborough. Four. Duke Manuel? Four. Your Eminence? Four. But I... Gregory, please. Monsieur Napoleon? Four. Mr. Von Volner? Four. What? Gregory, <laughs> please refrain from interrupting the voting. 
You know the rules, brother. President Washington? Four. The votes are now cast. Ah. The project is therefore... Approved. Approved. Dirty. Traitor. Mr. Godoy, soon you will be in charge of passing the territory of Louisiana over to France. Excuse it will me? Be done. What have you done? Me? Nothing, dear brother. What have you done to me? You. What have I done? Nothing, Gregory. You did it yourself. A word of advice. In the future, oh, that is, if you have one, don't drink someone else's cup of tea without checking what's in it. Father, what happened? Sir Gregory, what's the matter? William, what have you done? Not now. You, you are mad, William. What the I hell is happening? He just froze everything. You for, for this. He will probably try, unless I get to him first. Oh. I cannot die. No, you cannot die. You are, however, losing all sense of reason. As well as all your special ability. Oh shit! What? What did I drink? Can't you guess? There are but few things that can have such an effect on such as we. You would know that if you ever ventured even a little way off of Father's beaten track. I... Revenge! Oh, no, my dear Gregory. You will not be taking any revenge. You will die stupidly, alone, enclosed in that rather withered body. Help. Help me. After several centuries Help. of near absolute power, here you find yourself on your hands and knees, hoping in vain that someone is going to help you. Tell me, what does that feel like? Never happened to me. Can't be good. You cannot leave your body. You cannot project yourself elsewhere. You cannot even contact father. Go ahead. Try. But you are my brother. So I ask you to remember that all this is your own fault. And I want you to understand I get absolutely no... I, mean, I don't know. It sounded like you are getting pretty well, thrilled with it. Don't. Yeah, I see. You swine! A new order is born today, brother. Enough of father's hegemony. After all these years of servitude, I can finally stand up and oppose it. You chose to serve him, whatever his excesses. Now it's up to you to face the consequences of that choice. <laughs> Matt, I am stronger than, than you. Uh... Man, I don't know what the hell just happened, but holy shit. The, the final couple episodes of this, uh... Definitely... Definitely picked up... Holy shit, this is not where I was expecting this game to go. Level 16, that's what I like. Let's see what we want to use. Uh, we got four points. Can I finish anything? No. Can't finish any of this stuff. Uh, I can get pretty far. Not that. Uh, let's see. Let's add one here. All these ones that are one, let's bump... Oh, I can't, but... Yeah, we got enough of them. Okay. Now what happens? What? But... S so... What on earth is happening? Am I dreaming, or...? Everything's frozen. Wait, it's me, Gregory. This... We don't have much time. But where are we? Louis, I brought us here. 
You brought you must us where? Swiftly. I can't hold out for long. William has poisoned me. He must have used the blood of a former demon. I am no longer able to enter the body of someone else. The poison is gnawing away at me from the inside. I... I'm going to die, Louis. But where are we? In the ether. What you see is not real. It's only a mental projection created by my spirit. I'm occupying William's spirit at the moment, but I'm not going to be able to keep it up forever. Join me, Louis. Otherwise, all will be lost. Yes. Yes, I'll join you. Find a way. Hurry. I must find them quickly. Okay. Uh... sense that something is happening but I could no longer move the hell is that am I supposed to go in here okay if <laughs> blues could do you can too I don't know what, what are they the doing here now N nothing seems real You are nothing but a coward. What a bunch oh, of amateurs! Oh, so each at the beginning of Please, each episode is a glimpse calm. into this, 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 what this. What is going on here? Whatever this is, the mind world or whatever is. I don't understand a thing. Louis, don't waste any time. Appease them. Appease them. Your thoughts are becoming confused. Help me. Be quick. Yes. Not a minute to lose. Okay. Uh, hello. God damn it. I don't understand a thing. I'm doomed. I have to protect my sister. Help me, Louis. Hmm. Okay, so I'm guessing this one's Emily. She's the one that's always... You know, whatever. She wants to isolate me again. Uh, so... Okay. Oh, okay, uh... So... Uh, Mortimer? I'm guessing the first... Well, I talked to... She, she was the first issue we had with... So... Home, maybe? Oh, no, no, okay, okay, maybe, maybe it's like family. I think this is, no, oh, no, he said he gutted her. That could be, I don't fucking know, man. This one's Emma. Okay, let's put him over here for now. Um, maybe? And then me. Oh. Is that good? Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. I don't know what I just did. Oh, they're all disappearing now. Okay. Looks like I've succeeded. 
They've all disappeared. Louis, it's worked. But don't waste any time. Yes, I'm coming. At least as soon as I found the exit. Hey, uh... Uh, I'm gonna assume I, I can't just look around. Since we're not really in the real world. Okay, whose room are we in now? Is this Emily's room? What? What are you doing here? You. It wasn't enough for you to let me be killed. Well, this is Emma. You had to come here and stop babbling away at me. What the hell are you talking Ooh, about? You couldn't have stopped her from shooting, could you? Don't sass me. You can change your tone because I'm not the one who shot at you, remember? It's not my fault if your sister got rid of you like a dead weight. I... Hey, what you nice. That was nasty. That was for treating me like an idiot. I didn't want it to happen like that. I just wanted to exist a little too. Did what do you, you mean? Think there might be other ways of doing that? Obviously, it's easy to say that now. Louis, we have no time to lose. Help me. Help you what? Please. What on earth is she talking about? Come on, I... You're dead. No. There's got to be a solution. That doesn't... I am made of the same stuff as you. I already survived a gunshot at point-blank range. I will survive this. I don't okay. understand. I'll go mad if I stay here any longer. I must have been here several months. I, I stopped counting from... Hang on. What are you doing here? Are you dead? No. I don't think so. No. Sir Gregory brought my spirit here. But I must get back as soon as possible. So you should be able to help me. Uh, I don't know about that. Emma, I have no idea of what's going yeah, on. I don't even know what the How hell you're you talking about. You? There must be a way. I beg you, promise you will help me, Louis. Fine. Jesus. All right, all right, calm down. I'll do everything I can to get you out of here. Thank you, Louis. I knew you were a good man. Right. I must get going now. Just... Stay calm. Everything will work out fine. Louis! No! Don't leave me! Listen! Louis! Hey! Filthy scum! I'll kill you! I'll get out of here and I'll come looking for you, Louis. Is anyone there? Riche? I can hear you. I know you were there. Help me! Help! What the hell? Can what a crazy hear? ass bitch. You must be quick. My memories. What? I'm losing my sight. Louis? Are you there? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I'm here. Pick up the thread of my thoughts, Louis. Of my memories. Make haste. Okay, okay. Reconstruct the sequence of memories uh, of Sir Holm. Uh, there's a painting over here. Let's try that. Where's, what what the hell is that? Fucking pentagram? Who's there? Elizabeth? Holy shit! I saw your body! You're dead! Gregory? No. No, you are not Gregory. Who the hell are you? Something's not right. Gregory, you are in danger. Elizabeth, what's the matter? Who are you? <laughs> okay, okay, dude, chill, My chill, name? chill, chill, bro. <laughs> is Louis... I'm William Mortimer, uh, Mortimer's son. William Alexander Mortimer's son. William. Ah, I see. What's happening here? My son is in danger. Talk. Okay, okay. Uh, Holm is going to die. Sir Gregory has been poisoned. What? Uh, who uh, dares attack my son? Oh, it would seem it was Lord Mortimer. William, that vile little traitor. Wait, so is this the dad? Is this the dad? Had overstepped our family rules. S no okay. Member of the family. So will their dad, kill the dog, he will pay jumped into Elizabeth, and Sarah was trying to. 
uh, exercise Mortimer's dad from Elizabeth. That, okay, okay. No, Louis, no. The longer you remain in his presence, the more danger you're in. Just get out of here. Wait. I have a proposal to make to you. Okay, what? I'm listening. William has to pay for what he did. He had no right. No one must ever attack a member of one's own family. That is the law. Okay. If you don't want to be involved in all this, let me enter your mind. When the time comes, I will just step in. You mean, like with Elizabeth? Elizabeth was not part of our family. She didn't get any choice. But you can't say it worked out well for her. What's to say that once inside, he won't stay there? If I ask my children to respect the rules, then I must do so as well. So, do you accept my proposal? I mean, I'll ask you, I don't think I'm gonna be able to stop more over myself. Would be nice to have a big gun, and he does sound like he does follow this rule. So, assuming this happens, he wouldn't stay because that would harm me. Fuck it, man. You know, scorched earth, motherfucker. Very well. I accept. Good. Pursue your goal now. When the time comes, I will take care of William. Jesus. This, is, this game is getting wild, dude. Like... Holy shit. Oh, ah, ah, my head oh, it hurts like hell. Oh, I hope I've made the right choice. Me too. Me. Well, I can't go that way. Okay, so go around here. Emily. Mm. Hey. What's this one say? Okay. I, f I feel like he's talking in order. You know what I mean? He allows me to bring Emily back again to this conference. Because these are kind of like random. It's not like it has anything to do with what's going on. Does anything to do with what's going on? And when Elizabeth disappeared, I... He 
He feeds Louis, and I continue to see nothing. Well, he mentioned Emily and Elizabeth. Or, Emily. Yeah. So, they're twins. Well, let's start here. At the previous conference three years ago, I'm sure he already knew I would bring this. This is the first event that brought home here. Oh, yeah. I'm on the right track. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Nice. Uh... So, was that was the one that he was talking about, Emily? He allowed me to bring Emily. He allowed me to bring Emily back again to this conference. Supposedly to find on the right track here. Okay. So Emily gets here along with Emma. Emma comes with Emily, right? So I didn't want to believe it. What does this one say? And coincidentally, who arrives at the same time as Emily? And coincidentally, who arrives at the same time as Emily? Louis de Richet, his son. He brings his four children together, and even then I didn't react. And coincidentally, who arrives at the same time as Emily? I'm getting closer to him. Okay. All right. What happens after I? What happens after I showed up? Elizabeth was murdered, right? So after I showed up, okay. After I showed up, Elizabeth showed up, or Elizabeth was murdered. Did that one. Is it this one? No, this is Sparta. What's this? And when Elizabeth disappeared, I... No. It's not possible. I couldn't have missed that. Not me. He cut me off from our father, and I didn't say a word. Okay, so that's why, that's why Elizabeth was murdered, so he couldn't talk to the dad. Okay. He cut me off from our father, and I didn't say a word. And when Elizabeth disappeared... Hey, what happened after Elizabeth? That's whenever I started investigating. Yeah, 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 okay. That's when I started investigating hard. I found out there were demons. Or I guess Sarah found out there were demons. What's this say? He feeds Louis. He feeds Louis, and I continue to see nothing. He stuffed his poor son with an occult knowledge that we usually take months to give to our children, and Louis is only trying his best to get by. He doesn't realize he's being led to the slaughter. That sounds promising. Yeah, because in here, because that's when he started like, yeah, that's when he started sending me on like tasks and stuff when I was. Yeah, he started teaching me shit. Okay. Then after that, 
Also, this shit doesn't make any sense. So another thing I think of is when you drink the the poison tea. Cause we didn't, yeah. Yes. And the cherry on the cake is I drank his cursed tea. He trapped me. He poisoned me to stop me from being able to leave this pond. Ooh, baby. Of all communication with father, he brought his children here. How could I not have seen it earlier? He's going to absorb me. The traitor. No one can stop him now. Hurry, Louis. I absolutely must see you before it's too late. Okay, how do I do that? To follow my thoughts. Come to me. Quickly. Dude, this is insane. I don't even know what the fuck's going on. Oh. Uh, it. Hey. What in the fuck? Is this Inception, dude? Like, I'm losing my fucking mind. Like, what is happening? Shit's on the wall. What the hell? Oh shit! There's home. Louis, hurry! He's coming. What's happening? I can sense him. He's here. He's trying to get inside me, Louis. William has completely lost his mind. He's getting ready to pull out all the stops. He's going to devour my mind, Louis. I'm not going to be able to stop him. Louis, what the hell is you are here. I sense your presence. What? But he can't even see me. Congratulations, my son. You have succeeded in joining us. Wait, he's going to devour your mind? What the hell is going on, dude? Louis. Don't let him draw you in there. You are signing your death warrant if you decide to follow him. I won't be there to protect you. It's follow him where? We have won. A new order can be born. Louis, I'm so weak. I can feel him enter. Well, he's already here. I, I can no longer keep him out. He's, he's coming. He's already here, dude. He's here. I can. Can you see him? He's here. He's coming closer to you. Where? Louis. I don't want to just disappear. So this is terrifying. He's inside my mind. I can feel him crushing me. He's just in front of you. I'm so sorry, brother. There's nothing you can do to stop me now. You made your choice. And you have lost what the hell was wrong about him from the very beginning he's mad he must be stopped you can still do something louis i can don't worry son father i am here you can go in peace father i am sorry don't be you've been infallible right to the end I am proud all those years watching you grow into who you are today. But father, I almost... No. If your brother had not been so malicious, you would still be with us. I am here now. I am going to take care of him. <gasps> Count on me to... Stop! All of you! Leave now! My poor boy. I uh, reconstruct the sequence of memories of Sir Emma Horsborough's spirit. I met Arashal's spirit. Is that his name? I accepted a, 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 a Sassel spirit. Uh, I accepted. I escaped from the ether. Okay, holy shit. This is crazy, bro. Absolutely mind-boggling insane
not close to getting any of these. Fuck it, we'll just pick random shit. I don't think it really matters. Now I feel like I'm at the end. Holy shit. William, calm down, Louis. How dare you? Louis? Your own brother. I... Father? Gregory should have never trusted you. I knew he shouldn't have come here. No, not now. It's pointless trying to run. This is wild. All right. Here we go. Time to end this. The dining room. Louis. Hello? There's something I'd like to understand before we go any further. Okay. What is it that you'd like to know? First. Know that you are not responsible for your father's errors. However, you must answer for your own actions. Excuse me? I better tell him what he wants to know. Tell me, Louis, what is your share of responsibility in all this? Uh, I fell into a trap. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to him. I'm not, obviously, I've done something. Could have saved Elizabeth. Fell into a trap. I, I was invited here to look for my mother, who had gone missing. You mean your sister? I didn't know that at the time. In any case, I didn't know anything about any of this. I'd never even met your two sons. And the more time went by, the more the trap closed around me. But you've survived so far. So far. You can be proud of that. When you got wind of William's plans about the conference, did you tell Gregory? No point in denying it. Sorry. No, but I had only been here a short time. I didn't trust Gregory any more than I did William. I came here for Sarah's sake, not to take part in all their twisted machinations. Certainly, but you made your choice. Deciding not to act is a choice like any other. So then... What did you do to thwart William? I tampered with the letter to the Vatican? When William asked me to enter Piaggi's mind in order to send a false letter to the Pope to discredit Gregory, I didn't do it. Without telling William, I wrote a very different letter instead. I see. Congratulations. Cool, cool, cool. You did dare right. to take a few risks. We are almost done here, Louis. Tell me, in your opinion, what should I do with William? Kill him once for all, forgive him, bury him alive, do the same that he did to... Let's use it against him. Yes! Yeah, boy! I know the rules. I know what he wants to hear. According to the family rules... You can't kill another family member. to kill a family member. I congratulate you, Louis. You have understood. Thank you. I believe you have earned a place in our family. Hell yeah. I cannot wait to introduce you to the others. But first of all, William pay for everything he has done right let's go now it's time to get this over and done with okay lead the way i guess since you'll be in control i'm assuming oh uh, yeah prove my innocence boy all right william gregory should never have trusted you i knew he shouldn't have come here you evil little cockroach no father wait it's over my son You've gone too far this time. Oh, father. By the way, I have a little surprise for you. Ah, now what have you done? Let me introduce you to my new servants. New servants? You know, I have studied our talents closely, and as you see, they Do you are... really think that mutilating your servants so that they can't hear is going to save you? Well, I admit that was the idea. You are pathetic. 
on your knees. Got him. Nah, I can feel you entering. Your ego has always been your weakness, my son. You are your worst enemy. When will you understand that no lock is impenetrable? I... No! If you're the only one who can master them, all I need to do is master you. Damn, Stop. yeah, you my bitch no. now, boy. You, you lost. Yeah. Look, Louis. Look at him. You broke the most important of our family rules, William. The one that gives meaning to all the others. Thou shalt not kill. Never, ever. Kill a member of our family. What's going to happen to him? He will be buried alive. But don't worry about that. It is over. Everything that belonged to him is yours now. Oh and shit. What? I'm proud to welcome you. Whoa, I got this whole Thank place. You deserve to join us, Louis. Oh yeah. You have great potential and many things to learn. Okay. Come. Come to me. You got I'm it. Coming. I wanted to see him get buried alive. Man, what kind of bullshit? Sorry, Emily. I get... Uh, I don't know what the fuck's happening now. <laughs> I guess I am owner of this place. As Mortimer had planned, Napoleon Bonaparte sold Louisiana to the United States after purchasing it from Spain. Bonaparte continued his political and military ascension until he proclaimed himself emperor. He went on to invade a large part of Central Europe. The legend of Napoleon persisted after his death, conferring on the emperor the role of Messiah for France. Remaining very popular, George Washington put an end to the various internal rebellions without violence and re-established trade agreements with Great Britain. Upon his death, he became a national hero and left an entire nation in a state of mourning. On his return to Spain, Manuel Godoy proceeded to give Louisiana up to France. Later on, he became the target of the Crown Prince of Spain, Ferdinand VII. The latter gave no respite to his mother's lover, going as far as condemning him to exile. He confiscated all of Manuel's titles and possessions, as well as those of his mistress, Pepita. Pursued, they ended up living out their last years in France in poverty and anonymity. The influence von Volner had over King Frederick William ironically ended up working against him. The sovereign thrust him into increasing repression until the end of his reign. Von Volner became the object of the people's hatred, was therefore stripped of his titles and land by the new king, and died in poverty to general indifference in the Prussian countryside. The Duchess, through her close ties with the Crown, made it possible for Great Britain to build closer links with the United States on both the diplomatic and commercial fronts. She became inseparable from Marchioness Cunningham, reputed for being the most influential mistress of King George IV of England, and whom she inducted into the Golden Order. His eminence was obliged to justify himself on his return from the British Isles over the letter he had sent to His Holiness. Unable to say more about the superior dark forces that he had spoken of, his mental health was brought into question. He was consequently withdrawn from papal state power and became preferable to speak politely about a faraway retreat when referring to his anonymous confinement in an asylum of Rome. Sara de Richet stepped down from the Golden Order and undertook numerous excursions to Eurasia in search of her son, she reportedly lived out her last moments in a yurt on the way back from the Berkoyansk mountain range. She died, ranting and raving about needing a new body. No more was ever heard of Lord William Mortimer. 
His sudden disappearance was the subject of conversations in the European courts, but only for a few months.